Welcome to the Citroen DS5 and this is actually the French Embassy in Dublin um, and yes I am uh, driving out of the French Embassy gates in Dublin very secret place this French Embassy 53 Aylesbury Road in case you're wondering Thanks. Ugh, that was a security man let me out there but oh my god there's a lot of torque the Citroen DS5 is, uh, well, it's kind of a hatchback, but kind of looks bigger than a hatchback from the outside, but it's it's a sort of a mishmash of cars. Um, I have to say, interior, this, what I'm looking at inside here, the interior, is very possibly the most beautiful interior I have ever seen on a car. That'll tell you where I am at this, okay? That's no joke. It is absolutely gobsmacking, and it's standard, apart from the seats. Uh, the watch strap seats are not standard, they're an option, but everything else I've seen in here is standard on the mid-range model, and this is the mid-range model. Um, we're only in 11. We'll go down to Wexford. Uh, it is quite an alien exterior as cars go because there's something wow there's a good bit of torque there that's really nice there is something really different about the exterior of the car uh, over other cars that are on the market at the moment because it just looks beautiful the exterior is fantastic looking car and Citroen have this fabulous habit of making a, of, of designing a car showing us a picture of the car and then just making it, no messing. We d we end up seeing this car come to fruition uh, without any questions at all. And I absolutely love that about Citroen because it it shows their conviction in what they do. Uh, it shows their abilities that the designers aren't just there to play. The designers are actually there to do something. Now in here I have this mock carbon fiber. I have some chrome here. I have more mock carbon fiber. These kind of I don't know, shark teeth or something down the center. We have a center control unit here as well, which has sat nav built in, um, uh, which is very, that's very good. I mean, again, standard. Uh, I have electric windows. I have these portholes above my head that I can close at will. And they're only portholes. It's meant to be a kind of a sunroof thing, but it's, um, it's not full size. It's only, you get this bar down the center of it. It's absolutely gobsmackingly gorgeous. Now this car will start in around the 32 grand mark, it'll be somewhere in there. This one I mean I think is closer to 35 uh, or 36, somewhere around between the two of those, uh, which is actually pretty good price. I mean I'm looking, what I'm looking at here, I would, I would easily pay that for, I think that's gorgeous. There's even a bloody designer analog clock on the dashboard and it looks designer, it looks like somebody really designed that clock. Um, Driving, sitting behind the wheel of this is, well, the steering wheel is huge, anyway. Uh, I'll say that for it straight off. It is quite a big steering wheel, but it needs to be. There's a lot of controls on the steering wheel. I have um, uh, cruise control speed limiter on this side. This side here looks like I have hands-free and uh, source modes. But the steering does feel a little light in the corners. Now, I imagine that's done on purpose because it is quite a big car. And this one's been pulled along by a 166 brake horsepower 2 litre diesel. Which is, um, it is nice. It is very smooth, very quiet. I'm only in fifth yet. What's six like? The revs have dropped right down now. Still very quiet though. But the interior design, man alive, I've never seen design like this before. This is so nice. Uh, even the button touches, little tiny buttons on the bottom. It's so pretty. Honest to God, I have never seen a prettier interior on a car than this right now. Um, it's so tidy looking and messy at the same time. I'm not too sure how they did that. The radio looks a little... A little messy, I suppose, but it's, I mean, it's pretty, but it's kind of messy. And they have that um, daytime, nighttime thing turned on as well, so I can turn off the screen. I also have my sat nav instructions on the dashboard in front of me. I don't know what 
Why would you buy any other car? Look at this thing. I could be happy sitting in my driveway looking at the interior of this car.